us here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, joined for commentary by former England international Lee Dixon, and we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. one of the most famous venues in world football, the Estadio Santiago Bernabeu, here in central Madrid on the Paseo de la Castellana. Yeah, I wasn't lucky enough to play here, but I've done a broadcast from pitch side and managed to sneak to the centre spot. That's the best place to get a view of a stadium, and this place is special. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Marcelo starts with Carvajal as fullbacks. Luka Modric plays with Tony Kroos in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. They are, of course, a club in their current guys who believe that possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, they're very, very good at it, aren't they? They have the ball for most of the game. But in order to do that, you have to have great passes of the ball, but you also have to have the movement. Watch how much movement they have today. Off the ball, it's incredible. And when they get the ball around the box, they seem to never, ever lose it and create chance after chance. Beautifully timed. De Bruyne. Fernandinho with it. Sané has it. Isco is a player who usually brings those special qualities to a match. Lee, what do you enjoy about his football? Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. So as defenders normally stand off him and then he's got more time to pick the pass he wants and he normally finds the best one. David Silva. Aguero. Sterling ready. Will it happen this time? It could be up for grabs. Now he must favour the cross. And Sterling has it. Raheem Sterling! He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance so early in the game. Well, the first chance of a game is important, but the first goal, sometimes it comes, you're not expecting it. with David Silva. Possession seeded by... And Isco. Isco unable to outfox the defender. Sané dispossessed. Company. 
really in this great competition there's been continuity since season 2003 2004 the same format remember there used to be a second group stage once upon a time Lee well it did and simply it didn't work I think the, uh, the the format now is certainly a lot better it's a bit more exciting a bit earlier in the competition it seemed to drag on a bit that second phase didn't it David Silva has lost it Playing with purpose and control. Running towards goal. One man to beat. Modric. This is Gareth Bale. Look at Modric. Running with the ball confidently. And a chance for him to nudge in front. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. Well, how's he missed it? It should be the first goal of the game. Fernandinho with it. Tony Kroos. Well, it was an incredible campaign, wasn't it? It's hard enough to win the Champions League, but to go on and repeat that success is really, really difficult. But they are a massive club. And meat and drink to the goalkeeper. Zane has it. Geometric precision from Zane. He's in with a chance. Keeper's contribution, but what next? We've had the official word. There will be a minimum of two added minutes. Sloppy in possession. Isco. And the ball with De Bruyne. And he's making progress. An utterly disappointing cross. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, Isco is always a potential match winner. Will he be a bit disappointed with his performance so far? Well, it's not been a great first half of football as far as he's concerned. He seemed a little bit sluggish to me, Derek. Easy for the back line to pick him up. Needs more movement. Sterling has it. Raheem Sterling! He's going to be angry with himself, Lee, having failed to take that chance. So running with the ball confidently. And a chance for them to nudge in front. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. Well, how's he missed it? It should be the first goal of the game. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Aguero. The ball with Luka Modric. Benzema. Can they take the lead? Well, we've just witnessed the first goal of the night from Gareth Bale, and that will be a big boost. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do, and on this occasion he does, and he scores. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? And the match back in business, Real Madrid with the advantage.
De Bruyne. Aguero. Given away. Karim Benzema. Look at Modric. Oh, he's missed the chance to extend their advantage. Oh, a golden opportunity to really put the game to bed. Carvajal well great read there to intercept the tackle crisp and accurate David Silva, Walker, and Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. This is Gareth Bale. Possession seeded by the Merengues. Zane has it. Plenty of running room in the wide position. It's a promising attack launched by De Bruyne. Goalkeeper's ball, the cross delivered too close to him. We're now inside the final 20 minutes of the game. Real Madrid have given it away. Fernandinho with it. Karim Benzema. Awkward in possession, Isco. Tremendous intuition to win it back. De Bruyne now. In the second half, trailing, albeit by a small margin. How should they be viewing this task, Lee? Well, City haven't been at their best. A little off-colour for me in all departments, but they're still in this game. We always used to say on the pitch when we're losing, we're bound to get one more chance. Let's see if they do. There's a complete understanding of the game. Look at Modric. And five minutes to go. Aguero. Sterling has it. And Aguero. Sané. Now regaining possession for his side cleverly. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And now Kevin De Bruyne. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Tony Kors. In possession, Marcelo. Tony Kors. Well, there goes the final whistle. Manchester City will be wondering where on earth it went wrong for them tonight. A terrible start to their Champions League campaign. That's the last thing you need. Start of the qualifying stages. You don't need a zero point, Sally. You almost need memory loss now to forget about that. Down to five games to qualify. 